Hey, welcome to SPF Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week six in the NFL, and right now we are talking with a returning guest, Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com, who's coming off another winning week at his service, AllPlaysWin.com. Troy, thanks so much for being back with us this week. You bet, Pete. Fantastic weekend overall. As I state, the fantastic weekend. We're just going to keep trucking along. Encourage people to look just not at the SBR videos that we do, but come take a look at the website. We're happy to throw people some freebies all the time. We're an investment service, but we're also good people at allplayswin.com, Pete. So I encourage people to come check it out. And I feel like we got another winning week in the NFL coming, Pete. Right, all right. Now, you've been very honest that you went one and three in the NFL uh, on Sunday, but uh, give a little plug for like how well you did on the week overall. You know, Pete, eight winning days in a row until yesterday, but overall on the weekend, still very much over 30 units of profit, Pete. One thing that we really thrive on, and I know some of the viewers out there got it, some didn't, but, you know, late Saturday night, the 9 o'clock game, Pete, I got a phone call from some guys that were out in Hawaii for the San Jose State-Hawaii game. We released it last minute. Hawaii, or excuse me, San Jose State was a three and a half favorite, one by 10, really never in doubt. That's the type of stuff you're going to get at allplayswin.com. a lot of late stuff, some great information out there. Encourage people to check it out. Eight straight winning days until yesterday, Sunday. And yesterday we only dropped seven units. We hit our top play with Cincinnati over New England, one of the plays we were very, felt very, very good about, one of the SBR plays. Yeah, I can uh, personally vouch for that San Jose State uh, pick because I saw it online and uh, I noted it duly. All right, St. Louis at Houston. This is the third NFL game that you chose this week, another kind of interesting one. Uh, Houston is right now a seven-point home favorite. They're uh, getting juiced or up to seven and a half at some places. You know, they're playing the Rams, and Houston's now lost three straight, but they have come against top NFL teams. Houston does seem to be taking early money, and, uh, you know, we know what the deal with Houston is. Very, very quality team, very talented team, except for Matt Schaub at quarterback and uh, you know the coach Kubiak said that they've hit quote unquote rock bottom in their last game it sounds like he, you know Schaub's like a drug addict who's addicted to pick sixes and the question yeah. is you know he says he's going to kick his habit this week he's thrown a pick six in four games in a row is he going to stay off the pick sixes this game I don't know he says he will do you really trust him I don't know look if Schaub has a bounce back game obviously Houston is is going to probably get a cover here if he doesn't St. Louis is probably going to take it down to the wire and maybe win outright. What do you think is going to happen, Troy? Yeah, Houston is so due right now, Pete. I'll be the first to say I thought last week they would hang mm -hmm. tough. This team is full of veterans. I said it last week. If they can't do it at home against the Rams, they're not going to do it against anybody. I really think that the Houston Texan football team is two or three touchdowns better than the Rams, and they're at home, and they're coming off two fiascos back-to-back -to -back weeks. They've got to get it together. This is a good football team. They got one of the best running backs in football. They got one of the best receivers in football. They have the best defensive line in football. This is a great football team. They got to get it together. And I think after what happened last week, if they can't do it this week, you might as well flush the season. I think mm -hmm. they're going to destroy the Rams. I think this is a three touchdown game. I think Matt Schwab's a veteran guy. I know he's getting a bad, bad grief for what he's done, and rightfully so. He's, he's completely shit the bed over the last few weeks, and he's, he's been carrying it on now for too long. He's got to get the monkey off his back. If they start him this week, which I think they will, he's got to get it done. I'm going to jump on his bandwagon just for this week. No pick sixes, no picks in general. Houston wins this game 28-10. Yeah, I mean, the Rams, you know, they, got, they did get their win against uh, Jacksonville last week and the cover, but it didn't look that good on the field. They're still having the same problems. Bradford's looking like maybe not quite good enough to lead a, you know, a quality NFL team. They have bad play calling. And, you know, Houston, with Andre Johnson and DeAndre Hopkins, Schaub should be able to have a reliably good game every week. He's just not getting it done. But, uh, so you're going on blind faith here that, uh, that Schaub will have a rebound. Yeah, I'm going to call it blind faith, but Schwab historically over the last few years has been a pretty decent quarterback. Mm -hmm. So it's a guy that gets his team in the playoffs typically every year. I think he's going to do it again this year. I think they will turn this ship around. I know it's bad right now in Houston, but they get it done. St. Louis, a bad road team this year. You saw what they did when they went into Dallas. They got their asses kicked. Yeah. I think they're going to do it again here in Houston in, in a must win. This should be a pissed off Houston team if it's not. Uh, they don't deserve to play football the rest of the year. They got to win this game by double digits. All right, Troy West from allplayswin.com. Going to the mat with Houston one more time, one more time. Yep. Minus seven at <laughs> home over the Rams. Thanks, Troy.